First of all, just kind of tell us about the spring and its totality. How did everything go this spring? Have you seen the team improve in that time? Uh, this spring, I feel like coming off last year, obviously everybody had a chip on their shoulder. Everybody came in focused and locked in. So, you know, it was just competitive every day. Everybody was getting better every day, going at it from O-line, D-line, linebacker, DB, running back. Everybody was just going at it. Just because of what happened last year, everybody had that chip on their shoulder to go crazy. So it's just been like that, you know. Me personally, I feel like I had a pretty good spring. Uh, learned a lot, improved a lot, and, you know, kind of got better in the areas I was really focused on, and I'm really proud of that with myself. Big interception, big return today. Tell us what you saw. Uh, you know, I was I was just in the hole, and then, you know, the quarterback obviously threw the ball. My boy Nate, you know, he got that side locked down, so he knocked the ball, down, ball out. Obviously, I caught it. I should have scored, but I let an O-line tackle me from the back. But, but yeah, so just just working like that. Like, Nate, I knew Nate was going to get his job done. I was going to be right there to do it, but I, I just had to finish the play. Not on your team today, but a guy from your room. What are your thoughts on the performance of Khalil Barnes today? Last time I did the interview, I told y'all uh, he was balling. I told you he was balling, but Khalil had a pretty good spring. Like, this whole spring, he came in, like, learned everything quick. Like, not like no regular – uh, incoming freshman that just come in, but like he just picked up everything quick. Uh, it was a point we thought that with the ones, you know, playing hard, going, doing pretty good, and you know, but yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of Khalil, man. He definitely came in locked in. You know, he had a mission. You know, I feel like he did good this spring, and it's gonna be exciting to see him in the fall because I feel like he's gonna really help us for real. Andrew, what's the progression of this defense been like, especially getting to be on the field and see it just come to fruition? Say it again. Just the pro how has the progress of this defense been, especially now that people have gotten to see the product of what it's been like today? Uh, I mean, it's been it's been amazing to see for me because you know, like I said, there's a lot of things that went on last year. Obviously, a lot of people going to talk this and that, but we just I feel like the coach did a good job just keeping us, you know, our heads focused the right way, and you know, just letting us know like you got to put in work so everything will be all right. So. Just that, you know, the coaches doing that and us coming in wanting to, you know, get better every day, compete every day, knowing that, you know, I think we're going to, end result going to be better. So just doing that and everything. So just pretty good. Take me through that interception. Like, what did you see? And uh, you and Nate seem to have a little bit of a pairing there. And it looked like for a second there, you might have yeah. trampled Dabo there on your way to the, uh, the end zone. Yeah. So, like I said, Nate, my roommate, so we got a pretty good connection. I know he was going to hold it down on his side. And, you know, my dude went under, so I had to drop him. So I just stood in the hole. Nate obviously had his side locked down and, you know, caused a PBU. And I was right there. I happened to fall in my hand like a bread basket. And then, you know, I just ran. He had a pretty, Nate had a pretty good block on K, too. And I don't know how I got tackled at the end. <laughs> I really don't know how. He just came out of nowhere. O-line tackled me out of nowhere. And, you know, but it was it was good to see that, though. It was good. I being one and one, like, this whole spring, this whole – Game, I kept saying I was going to get me one. So it was good to see me get one. For yourself this spring, where have you seen your game grow the most? And as we head into the fall, where do you feel like you're trying to improve the most? Uh, really my physicality. I feel like that's one thing I needed to prove the most. Uh, you know, putting on weight to where I can take on blocks, be able to finish tackles, just things like that. Just being physical, I feel that's what my game has improved. I've seen improve, and I feel like I still got, you know, more improvement to do all aspects of my game. But... That was one of the main keys coming into spring is putting on weight, obviously, so I can be able to do what I can do at the safety position, make tackle, take blocks, and just things like that, being in being the box. And to these freshmen today, what was it like to see them, especially on the defensive side, kind of play for the first time in front of the crowd and do their thing? Man, it's, it's, it's special for sure. It's special. Uh, guys like Khalil, uh, Shelton, and just those guys, you know, just coming in, they was locked in, I've seen it in their eyes. You know, they were just so focused. Like, I could really see it. They were so focused. They learned everything quick. Picked up everything pretty quick, you know, and it was at one point, like I said, in the spring where they were running with the ones and they was holding it down. So I'm really excited for those guys, see what they're going to do in the spring. Cause I feel like everybody came in from the D-line freshmen, Peter Wood, uh, TJ, all those guys, and then Shelton, uh, Colin Webb, uh, KB coming in. I feel like they're going to really help us in the spring. Not in the spring, I'm tripping in the fall. <laughs> they're going to help us in the fall. Thank you. Now that spring is over, when you think about the things that you wanted to accomplish during spring, how do you compare that to what you guys were able to accomplish? Well, can you say that one more time? Like, thinking about before spring, what, what are some things you wanted to accomplish? And now looking at we're at the end of spring, how did you guys accomplish those things? As a team? Yeah. Yeah, as a team, I feel like just being consistent. I mean, we was a good defense, but it was times where we was not as consistent as we needed to be at times. So I feel like doing that, just coming in, being consistent every day, competing every day, you know, 
just getting better every day was uh, one of the biggest accomplishments I didn't see in this spring. And like the biggest key was just consistency because we got guys that can play and guys that can go out there and really like dominate the game. So just do that consistently. I feel like it's going to be good for us. And that's one thing we were able to do this spring. And I seen that from every position. So it was good for the defense. Andrew, do you, do you anticipate getting most of your reps at nickel in the fall? Uh, To be honest, I, I really don't know. I feel like most of my work going to be at nickel, though, because that's what I feel I feel more comfortable at nickel. I feel like I can play safety, too, but yeah. I feel like I see myself at the next level playing a nickel position. So I'm trying to, you know, do what I can do now, learn everything and just things like that. But me and RJ, it's going to be times where we communicate the rotations, where I go strong, because I can play strong, too. Where he go to nickel, he can play nickel, too. So. It's gonna be. I'm gonna try to do both as much as I can, but I feel like I feel more comfortable at nickel. Yeah. What's the biggest difference at that nickel spot compared to strong safety? Uh, to be honest, I feel like strong safety is way easier, and you know, you in the middle of the field, obviously, you read the quarterback, make yeah. plays. But I feel like at the nickel position, it's more physical because you. There's gonna be times where you're gonna have to be in the box. Times you're gonna have to blitz, take on linemen coming at you and running backs and just things like that before they get to the second level. So I feel I say the physicality was a big difference. Uh, from the nickel to the strong safety, but I like playing both though. I just feel comfortable at nickel right now because that's why I've been taking most of my reps. Yeah. What happened on that? What you said on that pick? On that pick? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's your name? Nate, my, Nate, my roommate. We got a good connection, and I ain't, I ain't had to worry about his side because I know he was gonna hold it down. And you know, my guy had went under, so I was just standing in the hole reading the quarterback. And obviously, Nate had a PBU, and the ball just happened to land in my hand. Mm -hmm. You know, coming down the sideline, Nate had a good block on K. And to be honest, I really don't know how I got tackled like, <laughs> by O lineman. That was yeah. bad, but I had I got to finish the play. But other than that, it was I feel like it was a good rep though. Like if you see how everything went down from the, reading the quarterback, you know, stepping in the hole where he was trying to throw it, and the ball, you know, landing my spot, I mean, not my spot, my hands. I was I was pretty good. Yeah. Have you guys seen that sort of playmaking ability from Khalil this spring? Man, Khalil been going. He been balling this whole spring. Yeah. He came in focused, locked in. He knew what he wanted to do, and this whole spring he's just been getting better and better. And I've seen it, and he God that's not afraid to ask questions, God not afraid to uh, learn. There's times where he would call me or call older guys in the safety to watch film or got any questions. So I'm proud of Khalil, man. He's gonna be one of the guys that's gonna really help us in the spring, whether that's on uh, defense, special teams, just things like that. It's a guy that's gonna go out there and compete and play hard. Did he have other picks this spring? Khalil, yeah, Khalil had what's with pick this spring. Okay. Khalil, like I said, Khalil, been, I said my first interview, Khalil been balling this spring. Yeah. And he's going to be one of the guys I'm really excited to see this uh, fall coming up. Because he's going to be special. Where do you feel like this, this defense is? I know there was a lot of talk about improving the pass defense coming into spring. Just where do you, where do you feel like you guys are heading into heading into the summer? Uh, I feel like we capped out the spring in a good way. I feel like everybody came in every day to compete, get better. And I seen consistency throughout the whole spring from every position. We just kept getting better from scrimmage to scrimmage. Everybody just kept getting better, improving, improving. And I seen guys, you know, putting in more time. I seen guys in the weight room when they're not supposed to be there, in the film room when they're not supposed to be there. So just seeing things like that, I feel like that's kind of, that's good for the defense because I know they focused and they're locked in and they just want the best for the defense. So it's going to be exciting to see this spring. I feel like if we stay consistent uh, with the guys, because I know every guy we got can go out there and compete and play at a high level. So. If we get the consistency we need, I, feel, I believe we're going to be the best. We are going to be the best uh, defense in the nation. Andrew, uh, what's going to be the defense's mindset, especially in the secondary, uh, going into the summer, and especially in the fall uh, camp when, when August rolls around just a few months? Uh, as far as the mindset, just, just get better every day. Just do something to get better, whether that's watch film or lift, get in the weight room, go out there. Uh, me, personally, I plan on, you know, getting some of the guys together, you know, kind of be a team chemistry in the back end. You know, go out there, work out, do things like that. Not just on the field, but also off the field, you know, go out, eat, have fun, just things like that so we can get a good connection and really know each other for real. So I feel like that's going to help us. But for the defense, I feel like, you know, just really just playing hard and just leaving it all out there. I feel like that's going to be a thing we need to do out there because it's a lot of talk about the secondary. But I believe in those guys. I know what those guys are capable of doing. They just got to take the step to do that. And I feel like that's something we're going to do this uh, fall coming up. I know you've already been asked this, but it's just a scrimmage. Yeah. But as hard as you've worked, as much pain as you've had trying to come back, was there some satisfaction, you know, in that interception and saying, okay, this is the way it's supposed to be? Uh, I wouldn't say it's satisfaction. I mean, 
they just I felt I, like I, I was telling the guys this is just another scrimmage another Wednesday scrimmage for us another practice but we just people in the stands so what so I feel like I just been doing this this whole spring just you know going out there making plays doing what I'm capable of doing and you know me feeling how I feel right now with my body and everything and how focused I am I feel like everything just you know led up to that and it was people that would see that so that was good so it was a good feeling kind of let people see what I've been you know the results of what I've been doing behind the scenes kind of how does that process of getting right both you said body and mind um yeah. how has it affected you as a football player and maybe even just your approach your mindset uh you talking about as far as I mean you've been through a lot like yeah uh you know i kind of uh it was it was like i said it was hard but like i kind of matured in that aspect in a lot of ways because you know i'm young obviously i'm on social media you're gonna see all kinds of things you know but you know it was time I, it was time where i wouldn't let that affect me you know i just put my head down and go to work uh you know obviously i was in through a lot of pain but me being the person i am you know i just go out there and try my best and do my best and whatever happens out there just know i gave it my all but I feel like I matured in that aspect, you know, and I've taken every step to get better. I've did all the little things I needed to do. I've been more focused, I've, you know, cut out the distractions and things like that. So I'm just, you know, I'm just locked in, man, on the season, locked in on the guys, helping the guys, helping them out, help the younger guys, whatever they need. I'm really just locked in on the season for real. So, you know, I'm trying to win and I ain't never winning. I ain't never won a natty, obviously, but, you know, I'm just so locked in, man. Like, I feel like nothing can really distract me right now. I don't really be on social media like that because that's nothing but negativity, to be honest with you. So, just yeah, just things like that, man. I'm really like, I'm more locked than I've ever been. And I said that last time, it's crazy because when I came in my freshman year, like I was like so locked in. <laughs> like I could see it, like I was my freshman All-American year, things like that, accolades, because I was so locked in. But I'm telling y'all right now, this the most locked in I've ever been. And I'm really excited and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the fall. Is it crazy how much that all changes? Like you said, like you thought like you was like never locked in like you did. And now yeah. you know that like, that was nothing compared to what you're capable of now. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to see them. It's really crazy. Cause like, like I said, freshman year, like I wish I could see, I wish I could feel and see like what I've been going through and things like that. And I feel like I would really know, but like when I tell y'all like I'm really locked in and I'm, pretty, I'm like, there's nothing that can knock me off track. You know, I got tunnel vision and I, I know what I want to do and what I need to do and I'm going to get it done. So, yeah. In, in my mind, when I put the pieces together out of both sides that I saw today, I go, this defense has a chance to be pretty good. Adding all of these mid-year guys, what what are your thoughts? And what are your thoughts on these mid-year guys? Man, this, this mid-year class, I wouldn't say it's one of the best because I ain't been here long enough to say that, but, like, this mid-year class is really special, though, uh, from guys up front on the D-line guys the linebackers uh the dbs i feel like this mid-year is special it's a lot of guys that want to learn like willing to learn not afraid to ask questions and really guys that want to help the team they're going to do whatever it takes to help the team so it's really to see things like that for mid years because you think about they really supposed to be in high school right now and you know they out here maturing up pretty fast and it's always good to see maturity pretty fast because the end result gonna be positive so just seeing that and those guys competing every day getting better every day you know, it's, it's good to see. When you, oh, I'm sorry. When you talk about some of those distractions, is that primarily just watching what people, what people, what people say on social media, or what, what, what do you mean when you say the, the, some uh, of those distractions? Yeah, obviously, you know, social media, you know. So, yeah, social media, guys in my ear, people, some people around me, just, you know, just yeah. things like that, you know. And I was, I was really not trying to hear that, to be honest. And I was, I was just trying to, you know, get past that, you know, stay positive as much as, much as I can. Obviously, all the negativity is just stay positive and really just keep pushing. What's been your impression of Khalil Barnes? Your thoughts on what he's done? Khalil Barnes is a baller. <laughs> he's a baller. He's been, he's been like progressing every spring, like every this whole spring, every day. He's been just getting better, getting better, asking questions, doing all the little things, come in, lift in the morning, early in the morning with me, just seeing, seeing that. Kind of, kind of, a little bit, kind of reminds me of my freshman year, how focused he is, how many questions he's asking, how many times he in the facility, you know, watching film and just things like that. So, man, I'm telling you right now, Khalil Barn is going to be a guy that's going to help us in the fall, whether that's on special teams or whether that's out there on defense. He's going to be a guy that's going to really help us. Thank you. For sure. Thanks, Andrew. Thank For you. sure.